Hi there, I'm Dave Marks and welcome to lesson six in my YouTube series on walking bass lines. Okay, so this week we're not actually going to do anything new, but we're going to come up with a lot of exercises that will help us consolidate the root position, first, second and third inversion shapes that we've used in previous lessons. Now if we take our three chords, D minor 7, G dominant 7 and C major 7, they each have a root position and three inversions, so four shapes for each chord. We have 64 different combinations possible. Say for example we started with root position, root position, root position, that would be our first pattern. Then root position, root position, first inversion. Then root position, root position, second inversion. Root, root, third and so on. I've made a grid which you can download from a PDF on the lessons page on my website which has all these combinations written out. As there's 64 of them, it might sound like quite a lot to play through, but if you think that each one takes between 5 and 10 seconds, depending on the tempo you play it at, there's no reason it should take you anything more than 10 minutes, absolute maximum. So it's not really that much to get through. Some of the patterns you may find you'll have to think quite a lot before you play them, but in terms of actual physical playing time, once you get comfortable with the shapes, you should be able to blaze through them. I've also posted an MP3 on the website that you can use to play along with. It has a pretty straightforward swing drum pattern and a guitar playing a 2-5-1 in C major. Have fun practicing through this week's material. Please feel free to leave comments or post video responses and let me know how you're getting on. Have a good time practicing. I'll see you next week.